All right, we we're good. We're live. We're we're up. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm Fighter Cows. Look at that sexy intro. And that's I'm Double RPG. I'm Visible Ninja. And we're the Geek Fighters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, the last time we left off, we were in some weird puzzle dungeon. Yeah, um, we were inside the Wind Shrine. Okay. I didn't lighten where the Blue Dragon is located. Just making sure that's the most recent save. 15 hours. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Good. Alright, yeah. we're good. Yeah, yeah. We're at level 29, too, as well. Well, all that all that failing to find out where we're going is actually giving us t chances to, le to level up. <laughs> mm hmm So, yeah. Um, last time we checked, we were still inside the Wind Shrine Cave. Yep. And, uh, I... Whoop, you already entered a battle. Yeah, that monster came right for me, bro. Yeah, but hey, what a good way to keep keep you on your toes for something like this. But yeah, uh, right now we're just trying to figure out how to uh, get access to the area where we have to um, stop the uh, horrid sounds of the village theme. Uh, from, you know, remain remaining horrid and try to get it back on the right track with how lively it's supposed to be. Not the evil eye. Oh, but he was blocking. But as you saw, your boy still got three uh, attacks. Yeah, I'm glad. So yeah, I figure we're we we definitely are visiting the blue dragon today, but should be. We'll start. Yeah, <laughs> but we are gonna be we are gonna be making our way eastwards uh, more, and we'll probably visit Might's Tower today and get introduced to two other characters who help us out on our quest, even though they are not permanent party members. Well, that's cool. You probably know who I'm talking about, though. Here, if I remember. That's the problem. They're from that nomadic tribe. I think I do. Yeah, yeah. So, how y'all doing? Oh, fine. All things been better from yeah. what happened. Yeah, I feel you, y'all. I mean, Metal, t tell them how uh, your computer hates you. Yeah, because uh, my stream last night, um, it turns out it wasn't broadcasting by voice, so uh, you couldn't hear shit. And there were some good moments where Metal was yeah, making was some, some good... Uh, yeah, there were some good humdingers there, but... Yeah, no, uh, apparently I am hated. Oh, or at least OBS hates you. Yeah, well, I, I think I fixed the issue, but yeah, yeah. that was kind of annoying. Um, uh, for me, uh, my, uh, week of vacation's coming to an end. I go back to work this Monday, and, uh, back on Thursday, I had a good chance to get me a 3090 graphics card, but, uh, thanks to the, uh, scalpers and crypto miners, I've been yeeted yet again. Uh, rat bastards. Okay, so, we need to find one of those, uh, cracks on the floor that will actually lead you downward again, but it's going to lead you to a different location to where you can actually get access to the area where we need to be at. So I would say continue looking at the cracks down on the floor and even down where that guy is. Well, this crack ain't doing nothing. Yeah, that crack won't even do squat, so uh, go down that little alcove where yeah. the troll is uh, standing down on. Let's see about some trolls. Yeah. Flash cut. Electro shower. Peak power. I don't know what she's going to do. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait a minute. They're, they're called hobgoblins. Yeah, but I mean, they look the same as the trolls. Yeah, uh, I don't think... Uh, what's his name from Spider-Man gave you uh, permission to use his name? God, imagine that. If, like, ra fantasy creatures from myths just like, nope, can't use that term. <laughs> Imagine, like, a a as a Christian, like, all of a sudden, like, I just go, you know what? The term angels copyright the Bible, so you can't use that. <laughs> <laughs> Although, uh, 
I just could see myself getting stopped really quickly because it just means messenger, blah blah blah. Humans mm. could be an angel because it just uh, means. But, uh, I'm sure a lot of you pretty much enjoyed uh, at least the first night of WrestleMania last week. Oh, yeah, yeah. The first night was pretty good. Second first night. night second night, not so much. Second night was nothing but uh, humdinger shit because of a uh, uh, chairman and CEO who doesn't know how to get with the time. The fact that, that they literally ripped up what they were going to do, the script, and said, like, I don't know okay, what so possessed him to do that. Yeah. Like, Vince, what? No, no, no. I feel like, like, dude, you can't just change booking just because of your, like, bi bipolar tendencies, bro. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. Also, Kevin Dunn doesn't help. Yeah, and I exactly. learned something about Kevin Dunn I didn't know. Wheels didn't know. Star Child knew. Well, I told him about it. He actually knew about it. But apparently, there's a reason why Kevin Dunn isn't fired. And it's and you're gonna learn the reason. What? It didn't even kill those bitch fish. I know, right? It did crit to him. I figured they'd die. Oh yeah, because but you uh, kill yeah. Them. Now, if you hit a, if you got a critical hit on on them when you're playing the PS1 version, then the text would have been, or the font of the text would have been red instead of yellow. But you heard me about, about Kevin Dunn. Hey. Huh? Hello. Let me see my volume mixer. Maybe I have PPSSPP too loud. No, I don't. Nowhere near too loud. You heard me about Kevin Dunn? Yeah. How much of uh, how much he's screw how much he's screwing up WWE these days as but well all, as uh, yeah. too much cam uh, too much different camera angle switching during WrestleMania. But also why he won't get fired even though like he should. Yeah. Because he so he so here's the reason. It's, you're gonna be like what? Okay, so um, just go down in that one hole right there, so that way we can get out of it. This one? Uh, no, not qu not quite that one. We have to start back at the beginning again. The one I'm standing at? No. Uh, no, not that one. The one at the far north. Uh. Or you could just select any of them, and we'll start back at the beginning, anyways. I guess. Well, I'll try this this upper one. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, the reason why Kevin Dunn won't be fired, it's because what? of his father. His father worked with Vince Senior, right? Uh huh. There was a fire of all a bunch of tapes they had to, uh, that were tapes of shows they recorded for for Raw or for not for Raw at the time, uh, whatever WWF was uh, recording mm -hmm. the 80s. Anyways. Okay. Yeah? I would take the uh, the Northwest path. Northwest. Time. Okay. Yeah. So there's a thing in in the far uh, dag damn it. <laughs> there's a fire of uh of that of the car that Dunn's father was driving, right? Right. Uh those tapes were important to WWF's like shows and if those tapes were destroyed, they wouldn't have any shows. Dunn was able. Dunn's father was able to uh, save those tapes from that car fire. Really? And because of that, Vince made a promise, and Dunn said this is the only promise he wanted to make to uh, Dunn's dad to, about his son, and said, "Make sure my son has a job for life, and that he won't." So basically, it's because of some like weird little oath he took to Kevin Dunn's dad that he won't fire him. Wow. But somebody, I showed Wheels that, and somebody said this, and Wheels noticed it, and I agreed with that guy. Okay, so, okay, he can't fire him. He can still pay him a lot of money to not show up, though, to just stay home. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. So we don't so even have to worry about seeing him on uh, any WWF event ever again. I mean, Vince has no problem paying people to stay home. WWE. Exactly. You you exactly. You just let the the people who actually know how to do their job actually do their work. Exactly. All right, Northwest. I still remember what you said. For once. Yeah. For once, I remember things. 
Actually, I've been doing that lately. So north west. So that'd be north and then west. So that hole, or more, or more up uh, past it. Okay, let me take a look at it first until you get caught up. So yeah, the northwest path. Uh, go towards the one that's in the middle. Uh, I'm gonna have to go slow then, cause I know me. Dyslexia yeah, you know, doesn't that, that, help. The one that's at the far right, you know, before you entered that battle. Uh huh. We we have not disturbed that uh, that those cracks on the floor yet. Okay. I think that's where you need to go to get down below in order to go through that one uh, pathway that we spotted before the end of the last episode two weeks ago. Oh wow! Hey Mia. Nice dodge. Hey, nice dodge, Kyle. You didn't dodge nice. that one, though, Kyle. Thank you. They learned from Piccolo, obviously. Oh, yeah. Dodge. You gotta learn how to dodge there, boy. How are you doing? I noticed that uh, when you did your stream yesterday, you, you got motion sickness. Yeah, because uh, the lost child is in first person. But I was thinking that man, it's not a bobbing gun. You just walk. I shouldn't get motion sick from that. But apparently, I did anyways. But I don't. I think it was from the turning. All the turning real fast. Uh-huh. Woof, woof. I mean, I put out a new Two Cents video back on Tuesday, I think, or uh, Monday evening, and uh, it's about the woes that we have against Sony after what Jim Ryan this did cracked. last week. Okay, yeah, we didn't go to that one, yep. Yeah, uh-huh. So, I think you go down it, it should lead you to that doorway, or that pathway. That well, we'll see. You saw. I fell down it, I'm already fighting a fish thing. Well, fish I might thing, as well, fish might thing. Might as well fight it. Might as well fight that bitch fish. <laughs> That's good. So anything else happened with me is uh like I'm having similar problems with you that but um I just I, I, I'm looking at alternatives and I the thing is now I'm just like do I wanna spend all this money on an alternative and then and then have the thing I'm looking for actually show up and then not have the mm -hmm. money <laughs> it's Yeah. It's like what do I wanna do here? Oh my gosh. Woo! Golly. Crit on that fish and he still doesn't die. This is hopefully will kill it. How much it's HP does that fish have? Are at its head. Golly. That's like one of those uh, Picasso pictures. Yeah. That fish. Cubism, man. Yeah. Alright, so. I'm seeing. Monsters uh, that just run up to me. That's see. what I'm seeing. Yeah. Hi. Uh, try to take that bottom path. Alright. Uh, the, the, the one that's on the left that we haven't even disturbed yet. I got you. There's. I mean, there's gotta be a. Uh, it's definitely a, a path, yeah. It's just yeah, there's got to be a path that we're not seeing that we haven't yeah. been taken to. It's just the enemy encounters are kind of slowing down us down a lot. It's like, bruh. Mm -hmm. Wow, they're still not dead? Well, at least Mia hit twice. <laughs> Do what? Mia hit twice. She oh, killed two of twice? them. No, she hit them twice. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a waste of an electro shower. Oh, Kai, who couldn't even get to the other one? No, no, it's just that that move was hitting every enemy. There's only one left. It's like, man, I could have just used the the weaker move. Yeah. Okay, there's a crack here we didn't go through. Yeah. Yeah, I still go through that one. See where that leads. We have to go down one. Of, we have to go down one of those holes. Okay, there's a door here. All right. Let's yep. hope. It's probably going to take you back to the beginning, but we'll see. What? 
what? Is it back at the beginning? Yep. What the heck now? That's like every crack. Isn't it? Nope. Uh, go back up that same path. Darn yeah. monster encounter rates, like they're slowing us down like crazy, bruh. And then if I try to do this, uh, take the leftmost path this time. They don't know how to run either. Let's just hop around. Like this is the only game I've seen where fleeing is like so, like, wow. Like usually every other game, fleeing isn't that hard. This game's like, no, nah. you stay here and waste your time. Become jumping bees for our affection. Come jumping bees and don't turn back. Jumping bees or jumping beans? Beans. One of the two. Second I know. Xylophone. Oh, metal. Is there any uh, Ninja Talk style stuff that came out? I.e. toys? Metal? Metal? Guys? <laughs> Like trunks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, uh Yeah, the leftmost upper path. Let's see where you go from here. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we but I would try to at least uh oh man. I don't remember uh, in the older games, I don't remember it being this, like, you know? Uh, let me take a look real quick on GameFAQs. Just keep playing, and I'll yeah, yeah, take yeah. a look real quick. Hey, Metal, you there? No, I'm not. I'm dead. Oh, is there, is there any news that happened? He Toys-wise, Toku-wise? Oh, is that turn? Hello? Yeah, I'm waiting for the thunder attack to finish, because it's loud. Is is there any toy news that happened or Toku news? Oh Lord! Well, there's more common riders going up on the Toei Tokusatsu World channel. Ah, thank you. Namely, uh, common rider Deno. Oh. Okay, let's see. Um, go back down. And um, that last crack that we made. See if you can. Uh, see if you can actually walk. Uh, alongside it instead of falling down, you know, so that way you can get up to that northern part. Get that middle crack that we just made, you know, the first one we made, just made for today's episode, see if you can try to walk next to it. Next to it. Mm. So that way you can bypass it. Try. Try being the key word. Yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, Mia. I mean, Jessica. Jesse. Just wail on it. <laughs> Just take him to town. I guess Jessica really wanted that hit. Because Alex moved, but he didn't do anything. So Deno is getting what now? Let's see if I can walk well, around. The first episode is up for free on YouTube with English subtitles. Oh. So now you two can experience uh, the time trip and ride. That it's either love it or hate it. Depending if you like Japanese style comedy. So you can't. Okay, okay, there was another go, crack on the far right though. Yeah, I... go go to that crack. See if you can actually go through it. Oh, uh, we also had. Jesus Christ! Christ okay. Almighty. Hey LPH, how's it going? Is it hey cool? LPH, LPH. Uh, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Oh, LPH, I want to know, what'd you think of Mania, since I was a I had to cut my stream short? 
Or, or did we ask you last night? I, I have bad memory. Did, did we ask him last night? Ah, oh, whatever. I but yeah. Don't remember. But yeah, you. We're uh, just we, trying to buy we stuff. Were same busy old, same old. Enjoying rampage that uh, we didn't even know that metal's uh, audio was not picking up in the stream. Yeah. His mic wasn't getting picked up for some reason. Let's just say it's a big kick in the ball. Okay, I did. All right. But yeah, but Met yeah. last night metal's uh, mic wasn't picked up. We didn't notice. Shoot. Nobody did. Cause I had the audio off when I was in the stream. I, Cause you know. Echo. Mm -hmm. Woof. Oh, uh, yes. Mm. Well, the big, uh, I guess you could say, Tokusatsu news is Ultraman Trigger, which is a. I guess you could say a reboot of Ultraman Tiga. Oh, okay. Hey, there's another crack here, too. Okay. Seems like this was the right one, maybe. Possibly. I hope it's the only one left by process of elimination. It's gotta be. After you deal with the hobgoblins, go through that crack. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah! Nice work, Alex. Now, Charlie Nash. Is my dog being an asshole with the barking? I don't know, he's just, I don't know what he's barking at. Something oh. outside catching his attention, or there's, there's yeah, yeah. nearby. Yeah, it, it was like that last night because he was um, he was working at a couple of dogs that were loose last night. Somebody was talking about how ch trained, good trained dogs won't bark unless like their owner says, "Yeah, that's a threat" or something. Like that. But yeah, those are the hyper trained ones, you know, like oh yeah, like like. Well, Alex especially. Oh, I mean, Nash especially. Oh, yeah. In other news, I picked up yeah. some uh, games this past week. Yeah, go through that hole when you get a chance. Oh, yeah, what oh, games you picked cool. up? I picked up the Neo Geo Pocket Collection Volume 1. Nice. Yeah, so it's... Uh, oh, right, I'm not at the entrance. Oh, oh cool, there's a crack here. Because the Neo Geo Pocket color was criminally underrated. Okay, it was. Because so, uh, it has oh. surprisingly good fighting games for a handheld system. It did. Oh yeah, now um, yeah, now go through that big uh, go through that cracked floor now. I I can't. Oh what? It, it looks like I could walk there, but I can't. You can't walk through that door. Nope. Not the one that's at tier. Right there. Oh, here we go. Okay. No, you're no, you're trying to go through that path. That that won't get you back. Uh, go through that hole in the wall. There you go. LPH says yeah. something that like it's is re reminiscent of what we're going through, uh, Kyle. <laughs> oh yeah. Just buy a Blu-ray cleaner, and if that thing is not working, it's eBay or give up. Yep. Uh, Jer Jerry's having his uh, PS5 woes with trying to get one, and I'm having my graphics cards woes with trying to get one. Because if I could get a PS5, I can at least buy a Mac, and at least I'll have something that could play modern games, you know? Un mm -hmm. You know, until I can build a PC later. But like I said, apparently, uh, where it is now, the shortage uh, ain't gonna end until well into next year, apparently. Yep. Oh, frick. I, I, oh, frick. I, I, didn't, I didn't read what she said. Um, let's just push some of these rocks to see what happens. So you just gotta push them in the holes until they somehow the where they where somehow they... I pushed myself into a door which put me. Ah! Ah! Why <laughs> did you do that? I didn't. Now you gotta go back in that hole. Yeah. Now I was just pushing rocks, dude, and it pushed me to the door. At least I know which one to go to, you know? Yeah. Now, don't you bother fighting these things, please. There you go. 
don't bother fighting him. Just get back to uh -huh. where you were supposed to be. That and is a good question, LPH. Well, what double R? You have a probably a good answer. Why is it hard to get some old PS3 games? Yeah. Good question. Well, Probably because since they're since PS3 is going to be discontinued, that they're probably people are to trying to uh, ramp. Yep. I was going to say, yeah, aftermarket prices on PS3 stuff is already starting to rise, and that's only going to like spike once the stores officially closed. Yeah. So, so blame Jim Ryan for that. Exactly. Who wants to play these old games? We uh, all do. Everybody. Yeah. You, they look like shit. You PlayStation Peter Molyneux? Alright, alright, just push him around without going through that door. Yeah. That's basically who he is. PlayStation's equivalent to Peter Molyneux. Liar. Yeah, just uh, push him in the various holes and uh, to see if they actually bring out the correct noise. And okay, like I said, a... one people. Oh, uh... God. Can I leave this door and come back and reset? I gotta say, out of context, yeah. that sounds. The bottom one? Dirty. Yeah, the bottom one. You should be able to leave okay. that Okay. I gotta say, I'll push them into the holes and see if they make a noise. <laughs> sounds kind of dirty, but. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, kind of, you know, out yeah, of context. Yeah, you should be able to leave that and then come right back. Yeah, and then they, then the, uh, the block should reset. Crap, I pushed too hard, I think. Also, apparently, uh, apparently Nintendo has, uh, decided to discontinue Nintendo Labo. Mm -hmm. Oh, the cardboard? Yeah. yeah. Nah, it was an interesting, uh, experiment. Yeah. But... Yeah, I don't think those are the one. Like I said, when, when you push them in... Uh, when you get two of the holes right with those uh, rocks, then a cutscene will trigger where, where they'll say that the music actually sounds really good. So, just just keep trying until you get it right, man. Yeah. Just don't exit out of the door. That door on the top, yeah. Oh, oh! Sounds a lot better now. But... I still don't want to exit out that door. It's supposed to be a cutscene, right? Yeah, there's supposed to be a cutscene. Because the, the, uh, the music I, definitely never, changed, you but... Even, you never even tried the holes on the left. What holes? Oh! I didn't even see them, bro. Yeah. Uh, those holes. It's because... I don't know if you know this, but... Uh, I'm scared to walk through that door. That's don't don't walk through that top door. I know. You putting pressure. <laughs> I'm feeling the pressure. I feel the pressure. Okay, so I didn't even see those holes. Oh. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think there's one. I think one of the rocks goes on the. Uh, left side and the other goes on the right side so they're not supposed to be on the same side makes sense there you go that's one of them dang nabbit this this rock doesn't want to play nice so I, it says let's keep trying so i mean i gotta go back and reset it not because but because of the yeah the other one just got shoved but when you come back, it that that one rock should still yep. be where. Yep. Yep. It's, it's still there. Yep. Yeah. So you just need to put the other one in the uh, the other hole on that right side. Then you should be able to solve the puzzle. No, it wasn't that. I guess I got to put it in the other hole. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That, that does sound dirty. <laughs> got to put it in the other hole. <laughs> that doesn't work then I think they both go on the left yeah dang it just shove the rock Alex dang nab it Alex why are you shoving it mad hard glip glop nope. it just he shoves it like whoosh I'm like just trying to like shove it a little he's like no 
Ah! No, you gotta try again. I, I... I guess they both go on the left. They might. But I haven't shoved it in here yet. Rock on! Rock! Do things! Rock! It's what we're all about. It's what we live for. Gonna shout it out. Just rock! It's what we're all about. It's what we live for. Gonna shout it out. Okay, that means nope. it's in there. Yeah, that means I gotta put in the other one after all. Yeah, they're both. Yeah, you gotta put it at the. You gotta put both of them at the left, which you already did for one. Now you can't get. <laughs> I was about to say, now you can't get out. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Yep. I say that fixes the music. <laughs> and Jessica dunks on Kyle. And okay. now you go. That's why it takes you to the beginning. Because when you're done, you could just walk out of the cave without having to fight everything. Yeah. Okay. So now we can uh, get out. Get out. And now it's time for us to go pay a visit with Destiny in the Blue Dragon Cave. <laughs> you heard him? The music, like, man, everybody told me this was great. It's nice, but it wasn't worth the five days of travel to get here. <laughs> <laughs> and LPH, man, what, what was WWE selling? Dirt? And yet, last year, WWE was selling dirts. I just want, he just wants his old WWE games and yeah. Me too, WWE I would love to get a uh, 2K13. 2K13 was actually probably my, one of my favorites. So was it 13 or 11? I, I don't, which was well, the one that, yeah. Well, fortunately they're, they're going back, you know, after the shit show that was Battlegrounds. So, cause 2K20 kind of shit the bed. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they decided to go like cartoony for the next year's game, but that shit the bed too because <laughs> it wasn't great. Well, this because was like... between like what was it like thirty some wrestlers like there there's only four different move sets essentially. Okay, <laughs> now you want to go. I am north... now, and I love fish. You want to go to the north side of the village? There should be a pathway to the north side of the village. Yeah, the CM Punk one. I think that was the one I liked. But not because of Punk, but because of all the, like, customization it had and the... I think I, like... I did a lot in that game. Yeah, you... Yeah, you should be able to go up to the, uh... To the meadow that serves as the entrance towards, uh... The Blue Dragon's den or cave. Or not. Maybe I gotta talk to someone. Uh, yeah... I think we have to talk to that one person who uh, gave us permission to go. Oh, yeah, that's right. Drive. The elder. That's what, that's what they said. I had to talk to the elder, right? I remember yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Wherever the elder was. Oh, he's somewhere. He's at one of these houses, probably. Probably the, which, which, which house is the biggest? Let's see. Uh, I'd say the one that's closest to that priest. Hmm. Because I don't think a mayor would live like at the uh, entrance of the village. <laughs> Maybe this one. Uh, the one that was next yep. to that shaman. That you know when we were just coming down. You know when we were just. No, I, I already already found. Yeah. Oh, you found him. Okay. Yes, the placid surface, as he calls the uh, grounds of the dragon, blue dragon cave or temple. Funny enough, water and blue dragon, and, and then in, I'm playing Dragon Quest, and I'm also in a water thing for and all this stuff. Yep, now we get a cutscene. Because you're in Gondolia. 
Everybody speaks Italiano in that uh, village. Ahime. Yeah, whatever that is. I gotta look that one up. I don't remember my Italian teachers mentioning that word. Or now, maybe, I don't know. Uh... Now they're all... Now they're all gonna sing. But they're gonna try to sing like Luna. Oh, God. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of ear splitting when you hear him do this for both groups. Ay me, non c'è rimedio. Basically means like, woe is me. <laughs> I love it how Kyle is just waving his arm around like he's doing an Irish drinking song. What was that, Kyle? Do you suddenly forget you're supposed to be singing, not gargling? <laughs> You're the one who couldn't harmonize harmony. You call your multitude of Sasquatchian groans <laughs> harmony. <laughs> Sasquatchian. Sasquatchian. Well, all right. More like excruciating pain. All right, so well, Nash tries a little end. better. All right. <laughs> huh? The blood usually gets off at the second floor. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so nervous? <laughs> I thought you fits for me. Play your Akarina. Yeah, do, look at that. Null already figured do, it out. Do, 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 yep, do. so. Yep, play the song. Luna. I know, let's all sing with Luna. If we sing, we won't be afraid and we won't cry. Oh, hey, look, it's the uh, little girl from Illic, or, uh, I mean, Riza. No, keep singing. Why you gotta be so mean, you three thoughts? <laughs> Golly. I know. Golly. Oh, Lord. It's not one thing, it's another to worry about these days, isn't it? I know, right? Like now, we've got the, the CMOS bomb thing with PS4s and apparently PS5s as well. Oh, God. Jesus. Yeah, because it... If you guys don't know, uh, apparently the, the batteries that are in PS4s that keep track of the time and such are starting to fail. Oh. Particularly in, like, you know, uh, in non-pro models. Oh, God, which is what like I have. either, like, launch... I have a launch, launch one. No wonder that thing's acting ones. weird. Either launch ones or the kind of later, because there was a, a minor revision a bit later that... I think improved power consumption and such, but if it's not a pro, then yeah, the CMOS batteries are starting to fail, and when they do fail, uh, you're basically locked out from playing anything. Oh god. Damn. Like physical or digital, and yeah, the batteries on PS3s have also been going for a while, but that just prevents you from playing digital games, uh, not like physical on disc games. Yeah, LPH uh. has a correct response to that. Damn it. And the PS5 apparently uses a very similar system, so... Golly. Yeah, eventually those are gonna shit the bed, too. 
<laughs> I only wish a certain handsome barbarian would realize. Don't mm -hmm. you ever notice? Yeah, me neither, LPH. I have a launch one. Day one. PS4. And the thing is with the PS4, uh, it's extremely difficult to replace the CMOS battery because it's how it's positioned. Oh, boy. Uh, the PS5 is different in that it is actually relatively easy to do it with the PS5 at least. But like with 3s and 4s, it's not that easy. Yeah. So once they go, uh, you're basically buggered. <laughs> Unless you know how to replace them, so. Alright, now you're in the Blue Dragon Cave or Temple, whatever. Oh, uh, let's fight. They're gonna make me fight anyways. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, we can't go through this whole game being weaklings. No, it's just... Yeah. Let's try a flash cut. Yeah! I don't know what's going on. Yeah! Oh man, and LPH also mentioned like I think I'm in a similar boat with him in that too. He said, um, I let the I let the yeah go ahead. Half the games he have are digital on the PS4, and mostly his games are digital. I think for me too, most of my games are digital instead of physical now. And that's only because of. COVID, I didn't get to, like, go to, I didn't really order or buy uh, physical games. At this point, I just buy a Wii U. Well, yeah. well, you have a Switch? Most of the games are Switch anyway now. Part of me is like, I want to buy a uh, GameCube. <laughs> My my figures came in the mail. Oh, okay. That's why you hear a bunch of noise. Okay, that's what that is. Yeah. 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 So, so, those of you who don't know, I actually got um, the uh, NECA figures of the Ninja Turtles from the first. Oh man, I like to see how those look. You should post them in the. I, I, I'm pretty sure you are. Oh, oh, I will. I'm gonna take a picture of them and then I'm gonna post them on my wall. And on Discord, the collectibles, you know. Mhm. Mm and on your wall, of course. Yeah. But I was... I, I wasn't sure if they were going to arrive until Monday, to be honest. That I wasn't sure about. If I can stand them up straight and get a picture of them on my phone. And then I'll post them on the Discord. Well, this is just let's go through what the I go a, a light thing just popped out aqua oh, yeah. entity well Sonic Riser. I don't know. Uh, he should say that, even though he doesn't. LPH says that at this point I just buy a Wii U. I was like, might as well get a Switch instead if you don't have one. Yeah, might as well get a Switch. I think he do. I think he does. Because all right. Because Wii U, pretty much everything's on Switch now. GameCube though. You know, GameCube um, has stuff that only is on GameCube, you know? Mm -hmm. Like Twin Snakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some games that still haven't been ported to other systems yet. I mean, the only other time we ever saw a GameCube game get a port on a, Nint on a later Nint Nintendo system... Well, actually, three. 
uh, there was um, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, and then of course uh, Twilight Princess HD, and the other is um, Super Mario Sunshine, but that was through Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Discord. So that way, if any of you are on the Discord, you can actually see through collectibles. Yep. Which is why we encourage everyone to join. Mm-hmm. Then Kyle hits hard, bro. Yeah. Let's see if I have any, uh, what you call them, uh... Starlights to Nash here. Okay. Yep, now it's posted on the Discord. Cool. Yeah. And I'll uh, focus on putting them on my wall, but after I get done with the stream, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Wonder where Star Child is. He's usually, like, always around. Yeah, they're a bit smaller when compared to the Super Shredder NECA figure I got, but then again, Super Shredder is huge. Well, also, they're, they're, what scale is... what? what is he? Uh, I'm not sure. I because there's like two different NECA... there was like... There's like a 6 inch and a 12 inch, I think, if I remember right, or something like that. I... I oh, uh, let me take a look. Then, and Super Shredder is just huge, too. Oh! Hey, there you are, Star Child! Look at that, we summoned him. He said, I'm here, I just fell asleep. <laughs> oh wait, who died this time, LPH? He said, it's sad, another rapper died. DMX? Well, that we knew. We knew. Yeah, but another one also died? Uh, apparently. Who? Guess we'll find out. I guess so. But uh, looking at the Super Shredder figure I got, I'd, I'd say... Oh, Black Rob? Black Rob. But, um... Anyway, also, there was something that happened at Times Square recently. A kid got a... 18-year-old guy got arrested for having an AK-47 in the subway. Ooh. Oh, I remember Whoa. That's whoa. Do -do 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 -do. Like whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I don't know which which pool of water I want to go down. The top or the bottom? Um don't worry. I mean, it's not like uh It's not like how you had to deal with all the uh, that wind shrine. Yeah. Crap from before. So you just have to keep going. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking at, uh, I'm just looking at the Super Shredder figure I got. It said it was, it's, uh, around close to eight inches. Okay, tall. so, so it is, it is the same, uh, what, what, what's the turtles? Are they eight, six inches? Uh, yeah, they're six inches. Okay, so he's, he's part of this. He's just big, because, yeah, he's yeah, Super Shredder. He's, <laughs> he's big. He's, he's, a, he's he, a big boy. He would be bigger, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh. I was thinking about getting the quarter size scale turtles, but they're like a hundred. Yeah, they're way they, bucks a pop. So I was like, they're much yeah, more expensive. You would have to have a pretty penny to get all four of them at once. Yep. They still look good though. They're mad detail. Hey, metal. Yeah, yeah, LPH. That happened recently. Okay, just why that someone had had an AK in Times Square? That's a good question. I don't, I don't why know. Did they even had an, they, why they, did they even have an AK to begin with? Not only was did he have it, Kyle, but uh, it was it had a fully loaded clip. He was ready to do something, and uh, th thankfully they got him before he started blasting. Uh huh. Oh yeah, definitely. New York cops are di 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 they gotta be paranoid. I mean, that's why, like, 
Like, why don't attacks get furled elsewhere? Because New York cops are used to this, and they're, they're on top of, like, anybody who looks suspicious. Aqua also, also, maybe racist, I, you know, uh, but, you know, so they caught that yeah, guy. <laughs> I tell you what, I do feel like when... I, I told you when I was at NYC, right, Kyle, that, like, New York cop were there, and, like, I just felt so, like, unco like. Just them walking by, I'm like, I'm gonna get arrested just for being brown, aren't I? Uh huh. Like. <laughs> yep. Post 9 11, yep. Hey, uh, okay, says we in like. We in like in post 9 11? Yep. That's how it is now, shoot. Oh, oh yeah. Like how Boston cops are like that now, too. Boston cops, ever since the marathon bombing, they've been. Also, like, you know. Mm hmm Or even the, um... Or even the Mooney Knight bomb scare. Oh, yeah, I remember that. You know, best... Everybody's leveling up. They're all level 30 now. That's pretty good. Shoot. Yes, it is. What, what were you trying to say, Metal? Metal? I was gonna say best uh, promotional stunt ever. Ah. Yep, you know, LPH is right. Persona 5 in New York. NYPD would kill something like that, yep. <laughs> like, I was mad scared. Hey, I could use Dragon Guard? I thought I couldn't yet. Use what? Dragon oh, Guard dragon. and Dragon oh, Wrath. Right. Yeah. Didn't use it because you didn't have enough uh, MP on Alex yet. Oh, that was the only reason. I thought it was because he needed the other pieces of Dragon uh, no. armor. Dragon Guard, it just, it just uh, neutralizes enemy magic. Pretty good for and boss remember, fights. you still have your limit breaks. You won't see another boss for quite a while. Oh, for real? Yeah. Well... Oh, nice dodge, Mia. Not usually Alex. Whoa, crit on Kyle. A crit on Alex. What the heck? Dang. What's with these crits? I like how we level up just to get crit, crit it on. Ouch. Ouch. What's up with that? That's some craziness. Hardball, All of a sudden, like, yeah. You won too many battles. You should. Yeah, exactly. You, well, how dare you win? All right, all right. Mia, do your. I mean, Jessica, do your thing. I'm here to buy more starlights. Uh... Oh, Star Child, since uh, you were asleep earlier, Metal brought up something about PS4s locking you out of games if you don't... Uh, some, uh, woof. Yeah. I'm going to use Zephyr Blade just because I want to be done. <laughs> like, let's just kill him and go. More of these uh, cave slimes, but even though they're blue, they don't have smiley faces on them. They somehow have teeth. They somehow what? Have teeth. Teeth, Just despite oh, yeah. being goo. Like what? The like Cookie Monster with teeth. Remember that time when Cookie Monster from Sesame Street had teeth? Yeah. That'd be enough to give kids nightmares. That's why they took him out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with Cookie Monster with teeth, Cookie Monster with teeth, that'll make him look like a cannibal. Get his teeth off of him. Guarantee you that's how parents were like. He now Nash when, level thirty. They saw that. He's always the last to level up. Who's who's what? Oh, there was a, there was another monster there. What?
by the time when Nash gets to level 35, he should be able to get his uh, last Thunder Magic spell, which he can attack single enemies with his oh. Thunder Magic. All right, Jessica, nice. Yes, a good, good job, baby. All right, Kyle. Sonic Riser. Stabby, stab, stab. They're stabbing Kyle. Stabby McStabberson. They're trying to bite him too. And it's Jessica. Yo, they're really going after Kyle. Like golly. Damn. They don't like you. They don't like you. That limit break of Nash's is insane, bro. They're like a thousand points each person almost. Right, because remember, water is a conductor of electricity. Oh, well, it's just like or Pokemon. The other way it's around. super effective, okay. Yeah. It's super effective. That's all you had to say. Yeah. Gloop. Oh, I feel like we're getting somewhere. Oh yeah, uh, growth-wise and uh, progression-wise. Finally. So, so keep going. Oh, the blue dogs. I got an idea here. You got an idea? I don't know why I told it to power up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I. What, uh, but I, Mia's already gonna buff him. Why did? Ah. Uh, <laughs> dyslexia, bro. I, you know, I'm look. I think I hit one thing, hit the other. You know. Yeah. This is why. Uh, besides Lunar, I hardly play RPGs. It's not. I just look at weapon menus. You know. Oh yeah. Well, he's now he's super buffed, I guess. I, whatever. Say you don't. You say you don't play JRPGs, but yeah, you're playing Dragon Quest XI S. Well, you know what I mean. I, oh, I, I like them. I just, I do like them. I just. But you just don't have the time for them. A lot of mostly. usually, yeah. Yeah. Because it's like. That, that's my job, man. It's it's only because like, it took me how many years to beat Persona? Persona Five. Oh, yeah. Three took the longest, actually. Three took me, like, four years. Mm -hmm. And then four took me, like, two years. And that's not because, like, why? Why did I do Vigor again? Dyslexia! I thought I had Flash Cut! Oh, boy. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. You see what I mean right there? Why I don't play this this much? <laughs> well, at least everybody was guarding. Oh my god. Why do I keep hitting Vigor? Alex, how about actually doing a move? Golly. Instead of being a scoob for once. Which you're not, obviously. That's NASA's job. Kyle probably kill them all. Yep. Wow, he did over a thousand damage on that. Wow. That's because he got buffed by Mia and his own power up. Dang. So when you give Kyle buffs, he becomes Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, huh? He is a god. In our minds, he is in that certain instance. Let's try this again. Just flash cut. All right. He did crits too. Oh, you have to beat it again? 
Oh, you get different endings. That's right. Starchild said he has to beat Langrisser 1 a few more times. Then he'll start Langrisser 2. Oh, yeah. I guess. So that way he can actually get a different ending. It's like how Drakengard had a bunch of endings. Oh, yeah. And one of them leads to Nier. I can't remember a game. Oh, yeah, I six played. endings. Starchild says. I can't. I can't remember a game I played where I had to, you know, where I wanted to view all the endings because I just wanted to. Nah. Which? Uh... I said I can't remember the last game I played where. No, I know what you said. The no. multiple endings. I, that yeah. I just I heard... played through them all because I just really wanted to see them. I guess Resident Evil Three Nemesis on the original PlayStation because if you beat the game if you beat the game on hard multiple times you'll actually see a a different type of epilogue for the characters that were introduced in the series by far like there was one for Jill one for Chris one for Barry one for Leon one for Claire one for Sherry one for Ada and one for the umbrella uh, operative hunk you use vigor again yeah this time on purpose Oh, okay. I want to do a flash cut after Vigor. I mean, I know that Trails of Cold Steel 4 has two different endings, but in order to get the, uh, I mean, there's a normal ending and a good ending. In order to get the normal, I mean, good ending, you don't necessarily have to go through the entire game twice. You, it'll just start you back at a uh, save point from like within the final battle and it will actually give you this option to actually uh, do something different in order to actually get the good ending. So it's good that uh, certain games that allow you to, uh, you know, get give you that opportunity to view a different ending mm -hmm. instead of having to play through the entirety of the journey all over again. I mean, I mean, if there's one game where I still haven't gone through and played through it multiple times just to see the different endings, it would have to be Chrono Trigger. Oh, that's true. I, st I still haven't even gotten all of the endings yet, or I haven't even viewed all of them yet. There's so many, like, different ones because of time traveling, women mm -hmm. whammy wobbliness. Yeah, and, uh, when exactly you need to, uh, you know, uh, go back, uh, when you, when you necessarily have to go back and fight, I mean, go into time and fight Lavos at certain points during the game in order to view the different endings. He's just the guy he works with, uh... Got the extra ending, yeah. Mm-hmm. His name? Albert Einstein. <laughs> hey, Lapis yeah. Tiara. Whatever that is. I'm sure that's a good headpiece for either... Uh, one of those, one of, for, those. Yeah, for either one of the ladies in your party. And here I thought, and for me personally, here I thought that the new Mortal Kombat movie wasn't coming out over here until yesterday, but it actually is coming out until this coming Friday. Oh. Yeah. But I'll watch on HBO Max. Been hearing a lot of uh, good press on that movie. Yeah. Got like a 60% on Metacritic or something. That or Rotten Tomatoes. It's not fully terrible. About on the same scale as, say, the Sonic movie in terms ah. of review scores. The fans who love the property love it. Then critics are like, blah, 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 blah. yeah, blah, 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 blah. it's it's not it's not making me think about if life is meaningless or not. You know, like therefore, right. it's gotta be a, it's gotta be a it's gotta be like Citizen Kane. Exactly. Oops, he got tickets for the NK movie. Oh, cool. To see it in theaters. Dope. Mm hmm And I guess there's also the news that Alfred Molina confirmed that he is in the new Spider-Man yes. movie that's coming he out blabbed. in December. He blabbed about the plot, basically, too. Like, <laughs> Right, Metal? Alfred Molina yeah. blabbed? Because <laughs> you guys were talking about it last night. Nice three hot three shots. Starshot mentioned about Chrono Trigger. You have to beat levels at different times. 
yeah, different times during the main game in order to actually get uh, to get a different ending. One ending where you can beat him as soon as you're a like <laughs> you can beat him ASAP. Yeah. But I would save that for, like, last, because Lavos is pretty rough if you try to beat it. Uh, well, apparently beat people can. I am but, uh, not one of those super players of RPGs like that, but there's people but out the there. Is, but the thing is, is that you don't necessarily have to beat him by him by yourself with Chrono. I mean, if you have Marl, Marl in your party in the beginning, then you should still be able to beat him and uh, get that that special ending where you actually get to talk to the developers behind the game. <laughs> I wonder if Toriyama has anything in lines in there. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, oh he wow. Tori and Sakaguchi. I wonder what together. he says. Let me go back to Dragon Ball. I don't know. <laughs> They're like, hi. I mean, you're you're talking to us, the Dream Team, who came up with this game. Uh, meta. And then the credits play really fast, while Lucas' theme plays very fast to go along with the fast <laughs> speed of the credits. Man, theaters. I haven't been... Three years since I've been to a theater. <laughs> yeah, I think the last one I saw was the Sonic movie, but that was last year. It was right before the uh, regular the theaters near, near me was, wasn't even... Never was packed, so like... I'm not saying you can't get COVID. I'm saying it was a lot less likely in, in that theater. Because everybody... Mm -hmm. was very, very... Not packed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you got another angel ring. LPA said the same. Angel. Of course, there's a Dragon Ball Angel song, and then of course there's a T Fatal Fury Angel song. Whoa, whoa angel. Do, 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 do. These are water ones, so fire wouldn't really work. And I guess. Uh... In KOF news, they actually... Yes! <laughs> KOF did the right move. Just like Capcom is doing with Resident Evil. Rely on people's thirst, you know? Mm -hmm. Now nobody's bad mouth in KOF. <laughs> Max has been saying it. He's like, this game looks so much better than... Uh, he said, uh, then 14, and Star Trek said he only beat the Super Nintendo Fatal Fury, I, I believe, is the one. Or he could be referring to Chrono Trigger. Or cr I don't know. Well, but, yeah. Um, I don't know. But, but yeah, um, but yeah, Shermie was revealed, and, um, what else? I, I thought there was something else that was... In terms of like a big reveal for like video games this week. Uh, oh, House um, of the Dead. Ro Ro uh, speaking of Resident Evil, um, Resident Evil Four um, VR edition. Oh God, that's exclusive to Oculus Quest Two. Boy, they that headset. They they're gonna milk that game. Yeah. I'm not saying it's, it's bad. It's just saying it's funny how they milked that one. I'm like, gonna, uh, you know, I was gonna tease uh, tease the fact and say. Is this uh, Capcom's remake of Resident Evil 4 that they wanted to give to us? Oh, one enemy. Because if that was, then shame on them. Shame on them with the passion of a thousand suns. But yeah, they had a Resident Evil uh, oh. showcase again. Showed a little bit more about, uh, aside from uh, RE8, or what they call RE Village, they showed more yeah. on uh, Resident Evil Infinite Darkness, which is actually the CGI uh, TV series that's going to be on Netflix. Star Child confirmed that he was talking about Chrono Trigger. Yeah. And they reorganized all his games, which is something I should learn from you, Star Child. You're really good at organizing stuff when I see your pictures. And I'm over here, like, everything's just everywhere. I'm more organized than I was before. I mean, that's that's a kind of, uh, Yeah, but not everything about that presentation was to my liking. I mean, still no. Oh, I got a lot of silver. Still no announcement to uh, 
Resident Evil Revelations 3 or anything related related to that matter. Which they've <laughs> been there have been rumors popping up about that from time to time. Oh, ten thousand silver. Nice. Nice. Uh, Starchild says, the Village demo is on PS4. I haven't played it, though. The Reverse game is kind of lame. I played the demo last week. Yeah, they, another Resident Evil uh, loot box uh, multi online multiplayer game. I remember telling Starchild, and you, I think you too, when when he brought up, I was like, why has nobody heard about this game? And I, I was like, I think it's because they, they know it sucks. <laughs> That's why they're not they're not, you know, promoting it. Oh, now you endow my weapon after I use flash cut? Thanks, Mia. I still, I still need to be uh, RE7 biopad first before going into RE8. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like Alex. I th That game, I, I, I'm not saying it's bad. It just doesn't seem Resident Evil-y to me. No. Like, oh, but it's got Chris Redfield somewhere around there. Yeah, at the end. No, so it doesn't matter. It's like, where are the zombies? Where are the... Uh... Where's the underground laboratories? Where's the self-destruct sequence? Well, L LPH, Kyle, Kyle here. Kyle, you're the best guy to ask that question to. Final Fantasy news. Uh, well, the Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate soundtrack is coming out in June along with uh, the the game. Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. But, um, but Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn Patch 5.5 .5 just went live back on Tuesday. And... Uh, other than that, nothing else new in Final Fantasy news, and still no updates on Final Fantasy 16 as of yet. Should be in one of those uh, holes you have to go down into. Uh, Starchild says, Reverse is just a six-person battle royale game with the little maps. Yep. Kind of yeah, like Mercenaries. So, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, but uh, I'm stuck on a roadblock with uh, Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers as of right now. I need to uh, be going through the dungeon raids and getting my uh, getting my amounts of gill stocked back up because I do need to get me the newest pieces of equipment in order to get access to the newest raid that was introduced in 5.5. The the newest dungeon raid that's that pertains to the story. I can't believe that Square Enix doesn't even have a thing where you can actually buy, like, a certain amount of gill instead of having to farm it for yourself in-game. I know, right? Because it takes so long to get gill in that game. You have to do various activities in order just to get gill, and it's like, I don't really have the time for that. How do you do it, Star Child, since you play a lot of, uh, FF14? Mm-hmm. Yeah, screw it, Electro Shower. Oh, um, oh, and, uh, and here's another bit of Final Fantasy news. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Completes getting a uh, 4K Blu-ray release this summer. Nice. Did you like that movie? I remember seeing it. I was like, oh, it's fine, but... I was like, it's fine, but, you know, I didn't... Uh, Advent Children, uh, wasn't bad. I did like the complete version a little bit better, but yeah, it wasn't really anything, th uh, that was really groundbreaking, but I thought it was enjoyable. Now, Final Fantasy, uh, Kingsglaive Final Fantasy XV, on the other hand, oh, that story is a mess. Yeah, Star Child says, I fished a lot and did weekly challenge log to get, uh, to get more money, yeah. Because with the stuff that, I mean, e even if you fished in that game, you actually can get a lot of, uh, like, rare fish that you can sell through the market board because people need those type of items uh, for their own, like, uh, crafting processes. So that way you can actually get a lot of guild traded out of that. 
uh, LPH says, so Reverse will, uh, will going to have that one character from the live-action RE movies, Alice? Uh, no. They're just all in-game characters. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, Alice is her own thing. She's, she's not really a part of the game universe. She's just part of the movie universe. But why in the world did they have her in the Monster Hunter movie? Gee, I couldn't tell you, man. Seems very counterproductive to actually have her in a, another Capcom movie. Yeah. <laughs> it would, yeah. It wouldn't make much sense. They did it anyways. Now watch them now watch them do a uh, live action Breath of Fire movie and then Milia Jovovich is gonna be Nina, the princess of Windia. Oh well, just don't well, her husband... don't get W.S. Anderson to direct it and no, we'll be Exactly. Good. Well, W.S. Anderson, he, he, he doesn't get to direct. He's actually going to star in the movie, and he's actually going to be Ryu, because why not? <laughs> it's going to be Ryu, because why not? Sorry, yeah, says, yeah. Children is okay. It looks really good, but it mostly just fan service for hardcore Final Fantasy VII fans. Yeah, pretty much what it is. Just a love letter, uh, mostly. You got it, you got it. Do, 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 I don't know. Are we uh, going beyond the time here? Yeah, I'd like to. I hope to get a PS5 with GBO2 and get Char, Char's, uh, Sazabi or something. For me personally, I want to try my best to get myself no, a 3090 is. graphics card before the end of this year, hopefully, but uh, I'm really not holding my breath for anything. They are seeing about Alex, golly. <laughs> a pizza, he's not my Ryu. <laughs> Hashtag not my Ryu. Pardon me. But Ryu in uh, the Breath of Fire series is a pretty cool character. Just, uh, yeah, he's not Ryu from Street Fighter. He's just a blue hair boy with uh, dragon's blood in him. Oh my god. But yeah, Paul W.S. Anderson is Ryu? Yeah, not my Ryu. Just like... Uh, Oh, the like, guy that was Ryu in the 94 movie would make a better Ryu. Oh, yeah, it's true. You're not even wrong. Yeah. Or not even what's-his-name when it came to Dragon Ball Super Broly. Not my Broly. <laughs> Ko Komoya or whatever it yeah. is. Yeah, Starshot does have a point. She used to be in good movies, but like now she's just starring in whatever that... Like, whoever's whatever just off... Whatever yeah. directing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like... Like, how about, just because he's directing, you don't have to be in it. Remember Ultraviolet? Yes, I do, actually. Yeah. I kind of like that one, even though, but but then after, yeah, she's, yeah. Oh, pardon me. Flames! It sounds like she's gonna attack him, but she's just powering him up. Mm-hmm. Like... Starchel's th saying, I was just thinking of that Ultraviolet movie. I think that was her last Yeah, me season. too. Yeah, that's why I brought it up. Exactly. I think that was her last good one, yeah. You're not wrong. Like, not wrong. Nah. At least it was creative. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. She learned charity, Litany. Cut. Oh, wow. Now, see, at least all these fights were leveling up. At least, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not even trying to fight everybody. I'm just, it's just. Was Ultraviolet an anime? I don't think it was. Or was it? No, I think, did, did it get one? I remember I it getting, oh man. I mean, I remember, um. What was that one that, like, what, what was it? Aeon Flux got one. Yep. Got like a short-lived animated series, I remember. But. Mm -hmm. That one, I, yep. Good, now she has Charity Litany. Restore all HP. Now, if we want to talk about Japanese properties that, that got themselves a live-action adaptation from Hollywood that actually were really decent, then Edge of Tomorrow comes to my mind. Yep. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, that, that is 100% true. All you need is kill. All you need is kill. Da, 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 da. I will say Edge of Tomorrow is a better name than All You Need Is Kill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't even make sense. And a lot of people don't know it was actually based on a Japanese novel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was literally called All You Need Is Kill. There, there was an anime for Ultraviolet, but it was based on the movie, so the movie came first. Oh. Yeah. I and know. Star Child also said it was called Ultraviolet code 44 you remember the animatrix yep yes four shorts that tied into zamita yeah they were pretty much intercourse between one and two yeah they, they were all like yeah little like shorts that all tied in it was like one dude one who was like another. one was like some kid some kid another kid, was like a runner who a runner who somehow awoke to the... And he, like, ejected himself from the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And not only that, there was also... There's that, that one with the samurais and the chick, and then there was, like, the weird 3D one. Yep. Yeah, where, every, where everybody got killed by the Sentinels. That was, like, a... That was leading up to, like, what was it? Re uh, re reloaded, I think. Mm-hmm. Because I know they, they were all done in the lead-up to uh, Reloaded and Revelations. Yeah, okay, I did Vigor reloaded. on purpose this time. Every time now, it's like, Jerry, you do it Vigor on purpose? Do it on purpose. Okay. Now another, uh, now, another thing that became an animated property that takes place between two movies was uh, Batman Gotham Knight. Took place between Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. It was done by Madhouse. Yeah. I remember that. There was one where, like, it was ki it was basically like Animatrix, but Batman. Different stories, yeah. 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 Now, as, as I said to you guys before, the, the, the stream started that uh, Ready Player One is, is on my TV right now, because it was a marathon. And we have gotten to the, the the worst or the best part, depending who you ask, because it has worst Mecha Godzilla. But, but it has Gundam. But, but, but also Gundam, so, yeah. It's like, hmm, I, this, this design of Mechagodzilla kind of sucks, but, you know. The RX-78 looks, looks, looks so. okay. Yeah. Even as worse, like, even as worse than what G-Force created in Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2? Yes. Dang. And Star Child says, yeah, Gotham Knight was the other one. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Funny thing is, too, I was really surprised that uh, Kevin Conroy got to voice Batman in those uh, shorts in Batman Gotham Knight. When you when you think it, you, when you thought it would be somebody like Christian Bale who would still yeah. retain voice of the character to maintain within that continuity, but nope, they got the legend himself. Hey, did you like Crisis on Two Earths? Cause I was, I was watching a clip from it, and people, this dude was like, "It's not Kevin Conroy as Batman. It's crap." And people are like, it's actually a good movie. And then he's like, I watched it. It was crap. Well, no, nah, well, no, nah, I like that movie. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if Kevin Conroy's not in any of the Batman I mean, movies. But obviously, I mean, he's got... great Batman, but it's like, there's, he can't. I mean, just because he's not in doesn't mean it's a bad movie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, like the guy that they got to voice Batman in, uh, you know, that's based on the animated originals ever since, like, Son of Batman. I thought he was actually a uh, pretty good voice for Batman. 
even thought that Bruce Greenwood was good for the voice of Batman and Batman no, I under the Bruce, red hood. I thought he was good too for yeah. What was that? And what? What? He was also uh, Batman and Young Justice, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought so. The you're talking about the guy who voiced Batman and Son of Batman, right? Or are you talking about uh, Bruce Greenwood from Under the Red Hood? Under the Red Hood, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, because he was also Batman in Young Justice, by what yeah. I remember. Mm -hmm. But just when there's anything that's about the uh, Batman the Animated Series... That you know, if uh, Dick Grayson were to arrive, then count Lauren Lester to come back for the role of Dick Grayson. Here's where you just bad. wail on him. But too bad, no Arlene Sorkin, because uh, she was already retired after Batman yeah. and, uh, Arkham Asylum. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why they have Tara Strong doing mm -hmm. Harley these days, don't they? Mm-hmm. Well, except except when it's Kaylee Cuoco. <laughs> so, except for Harley, except for like the, the animated series. That's I know that's K Katie Cuoco. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I know, but in the other games, yeah, it's Tara Strong. You can't really like there isn't much of a difference, too. I could screw this on my except for Blade. Yeah, gotta say, Tara does a good Harley, so. Uh, Star Child says a couple of other movies got anime movies around that time. Van Helsing, Dark Fury, Riddick, and Ultra Oh, that's right, the Blood, Riddick one, too. And Blood Rain. Uh -huh. Yeah, I... Oh, God. What, uh, what was that? There was... What was it? Because uh, I remember the, the, the two Riddick games were actually fairly well regarded. Yeah, they're pretty good. Oh, yes. There, there was so I think it was for the 360. There was some package that was like... A, like an enhanced version of the first game with like a new kind of like episode to it. Also had the uh, the, an the animated movie. I think it was called Dark Fury. I think. Yo, know, speaking oh. of first person and uh, Kazak Riddick. Oh yeah, I forgot Dante's Inferno. Oh yeah, that was the yep. game got an animated adaptation. Yeah, it did. It did yeah. Deep Space and did was... too, didn't it? Yeah, Dead Space. Dead yeah. Space, Deep Space. <laughs> you know what I meant, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, De yeah, Dead Space got yeah an animated like movie too. Yeah, there's, there's they, all of EA stuff around that time. Like I said, Dante's Inferno was actually a pretty good God of War like game too. Yeah, it yes, wasn't it was. wasn't bad. People who dunk on it saying because it looks like God of War, it's like th there's more to it than meets the eye. I mean, I, nothing. I mean, sure it may have some influence from God of War, but that doesn't mean that it's a complete copy 100%. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you, Nash. I didn't want to sit there all day. <laughs> oh, yes. Go to town with that thunder rain. Got play at these bangle. Oh, ooh, who can use that? They got vaped with thunder. Actually, he might be able to use that bangle, I guess. I know, uh, I know Bayonetta got a, uh, animated adaptation. And LPH says, no God of War anime? Nope, there was not even a God of War anime. Hewn from a rare stone. For ladies only. Uh... Oh, Star Child, uh, Dante's Inferno is uh, pretty good. I'd say check it out whenever you get a chance if you, yeah, you, know, like if you said, still have a, it. It's a pretty good hack and slash, like surprisingly good. Oh, hey, bad gamer. And of course, it ends with a teaser for for you know Purgatorio, which of course never was followed up on. But anyway. yeah, because of Visceral Games' closure. Yeah. Thanks, EA. I can't really imagine how, how they would do Purgatory and then Paradise in a game like that. Purgatorio and Paradiso, yeah. Parad <laughs> like like his Purgatory and Paradise, because Purgatory is all about like sins who still have like. Souls who, who are redeemable and have to like work yeah. through to gain their entry to heaven. In the and Catholic, then, yeah, yeah, that's what. And then, and then paradise is obviously, you know, it's it's, it's heaven basically. So. Bad game. I, I can't really see how a hack and slash game would work 
you know, in heaven, unless we're going like Bayonetta or something. But mm-hmm. uh, Bad Gamer yeah. said the DMC anime was decent. Um, I think uh, Bad Gamer, what we're actually talking about is like games or movies that had an animated adaptation for like uh, uh, like an animated movie or something like that. But yeah, the Devil May Cry anime was uh, decent. Hey, Blue Dragon. Hey, that, uh, well, that's a game that actually got an anime, anime about it. Oh, Blue Dragon? It, what? It was already a game property to begin with. I know, I know, but then... Well, but it got an anime, Tor- yeah. Yeah, because, you know, Toriyama. So. Yeah. Because Toriyama, of course. So, the Blue Dragon... Laid back, shoot, shoot. son of a gun. Yeah. Ancient Dragon Masters. Dragon wings and a shield. So for my brothers. My name is Alex. You can, you can see that the. You, could, you can see that oh. the blue dragon has somewhat of a. Uh, if you, personality. if you weren't qualified to be the Dragon Master, you couldn't even enter the temple. The blue yeah. dragon helmet which you seek lies before you. But notice that dragon has not been captured yet. Uh, Bad Gamer says, still don't get why Dante was Shake a leg and obtain big your in the reward, ice cream Sundays. Not complaining, just wondering, since... The, in the game, he was all about pizza. Yeah. That's nothing new. <laughs> the <laughs> Blue Dragon said, that's nothing uh, new. The world's in grave danger. Uh, that's nothing new. It's the world's yeah, always in grave danger. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. The world's always in danger. Alright, yep. Yeah! Uh, we got ourselves the Blue Dragon Helmet. That looks familiar. Yeah, that's the helmet. Oh, something happened. Oh no. Guess when it, when he's wearing the dragon when when it, oh. when a dragon master wears their attire, don't they kind of look Russian with that attire? Yeah, it looks like they're ready to go for some cold hunting in Siberia or something on mm-hmm. for Mother Russia. And Zangief shows up. Oh no, not the blue dragon! Yeah, he's got to do the, the 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 squat dance there with Gorbachev. You three! Uh. Oh no! You're too, he's already fallen into our hands. Facia, no! She's like, well, my life sucks, so. I'm like, so? Doesn't give you the right to make it so. So, basically, for the Vile Tribe, it's, it's revenge that they're living on a. It's true what Bad Gamer says. In the games, Dante is about pizza, not ice cream. Halo Legends was the other anime. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. I didn't, yep. um. I don't think they got uh, Steve Downs to reprise his role as Master Chief in that anime. I think they got somebody else. You no, know, I don't remember. Ah, uh, Blue Dragon's already kidnapped. Only one dragon remains. It's unthinkable. Galleon, who sw- died and swore allegiance to Aldina to the very end, could commit such a dastardly act. How could you be blinded? How could you plot to shatter? How could you do this to Freezer? How could you do it? Freezer, 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 Freezer. I could commit such a dastardly act for my own entertainment. Poor Null. Yeah, I know. All right. It's like, it's like members of his family are just getting, uh... How do you warp away? Uh, what was the warpy warp thing that warps you? 
What was it called? Warp you warp? Uh, warp. escape litany. Oh yeah, yeah. She, she, does she know that? Yeah, she should. Uh, that or we could have uh, used the dragon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Return litany. Yeah, return litany. Yeah, we can get out of there. She's not using it. Okay. okay. Bad Gamer says, One game I'm still surprised about that never got an anime adaptation is uh, Asher's Wrath. Oh, yeah, it's true. That's a, that's a, that's kind that of game was anime, anime, AF, as he says. Exactly, it was anime. Mm hmm. Also, that's a game that, that I really want Capcom to re release, because, yeah. Yeah, it's that good. Alright, now you can use it. Yeah, I had a feeling yeah. I had to walk out and then. How's it going, buddies? <laughs> the way he's like leading them, like I'm just. <laughs> I just feel like, how's it going, bro? Oh. Yep. Actually, I could save it when it's. Uh... We're done in Lighten, and it's time for us to go eastward. Towards a uh, peninsula or something that will lead us to the next town. Well, yeah, now it's a lot prettier. But like that guy I said. said. it was just a name! <laughs> yeah. Actually, Monster Island. Monster was actually Peninsula. Peninsula. <laughs> yeah, what he meant was Monster Island. <laughs> Peninsula. Yeah, the dragons, they didn't get uh, they didn't get transported to where Galleon is. They just got transported to Monster Island, where they're living with Godzilla. It's funny, though, hearing this music, like the guy said, it's nice, but it wasn't worth a five-day trip. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny how even the game dunks on itself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bad Gamer says, uh... Or j just straight up uh, port it to PC, Asher's Wrath. Yeah, right? Which I'm still surprised why they have not even done that. I mean, he's dies getting a PC port. Finally. Is it Tamar Pass? Yes, Tamar Pass is where we need to go in. Alrighty. Now, the wedding. Oh, here now we go. Now, the wedding. Me and Dad used to say it all the time when we saw any game now loaded with now, the wedding. The wad. Well, you want loots? Go to core values. Yeah. For real though, core values. So the art is not for. Art is for is for your own art. Bad gamer says, think the game, as most Capcom games are, would be very moddable. Modable, he wrote. But yeah, you you understood it, thankfully. Mhm. Mm moddable. Well, you can do that. Just play Street Fighter 4. I mean, he's a playable character. Oh! Now... Now Kyle has some three swings. Oh, like he's, Alex. He's, he's got three swings now? Yeah. Please. About time, my man. Seems like this game, as long as you fight everybody, you don't really have to go waste grinding. If you... Mm -hmm. you <laughs> Which is funny, I'm not I'm not even trying to fight everybody, I end up doing it anyways, and boom, you get to the right level. Oh, shh. what are these things? Oh, Shilohs? Or Shiros? Yeah. Let's see about them. Um, if, if you get to feed them, they, either they give you lots of silver or lots of experience points, so... That's what I, that's that's my goal. Yeah. Where's my electric car, Bruce? <laughs> right? Hello, my name is Bruce. Better know what I'm talking about. Where's my electric car, Bruce? <laughs> okay, but metal has to hear me. So anyway. Yeah. Uh, so you know what I'm talking about. Where's my electric car, Bruce? <laughs> yeah, Harley. Where's my goddamn electric car, Bruce? I think Bad Gamer's on fire. He's posting fire emotes. Well, Core Values is his domain. And I was saying that, uh, somebody, you know, if you're gonna post an art in our Discord, it's gotta be your own art. I think I put that in the rules, didn't I? In the, in the yeah, you just post your, you just post your own art, not the, but no ludes. If, if you want lewds, then you post that in core values. 
Well, but the thing is, I know that's that's also not his own art because he he commissions me to draw it. So. Shiro's mm -hmm. <laughs> tail. So those were Shiro's. Dragon healing now. Oh. Yep, from the blue dragon. Yep. So Alex now has uh, dra uh, healing abilities too. But just like every other dragon based spell, they take a lot of. Yeah, I noticed. Points. So it's like basically boss fight stuff, right? Mm hmm. Yep. Restore HP to max. So basically, think of, uh, think of the ability like everybody is going to be using a Mega Elixir. But. Albeit you don't get your MP fully restored. Yeah, good work, Alex. They gave quite a bit of experience. Yeah, I mean it's uh it's good. Danger falling really rocks, bad. oh jeez. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god, it's bee drills. There's bee drills here. Oh boy. Oh lordy. Bees! Bees! Bee drills. Bees in the car! Bees everywhere! I was watching that. Just er, legit. Bees. Just watching oh, that movie. God. Your firearms are useless! They're ripping my flesh off! Yeah, you should, Star Child. They. I, I mean, I'd like to see it. Your firearms are useless against them. Holy shnikes, it worked. Dude, I just barfed on an anthill. No, oh, they're really? missed. I think they're pissed. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, one had to live. We're seeing about all of them. Whoa, whoa. Needle shot. All right. I like how happy Alex gets when he wins. Oh yeah. It's like for some reason so so wholesome. Treasure ahead, my foot. But. <laughs> Alex, he's back in said, yeah, I get super happy. It says treasure ahead. That's not too reassuring. I know. Game. That's why I'm like, nah, there's something else ahead, isn't there? One, two, three, four, one. Mutant Ninja Action 2, Living Underground 3. Is that the 2003 one? I, I don't remember. Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That was actually a cool opening yeah, song. Yeah. That's probably my. Before the, uh... What, what's the other good one? What's the good Nickelodeon one? Well, it's basically like a remix of the 87 uh, cartoon, but... But no, but which one was the, the Nickelodeon one that was actually liked? Yeah, because there was, what was it? Uh, was a... Just Turtles. I think it was the, their their first crack at the Turtles, because then they yeah. did that one, and then did Rise of the TNT. Yeah, the 2012 one. Was, that one's great. Uh, I was gonna say, yes. yeah, I think it was. Oh yeah, I uh, love that. I love that. Yeah, twenty twelve wasn't bad. I think it was Rise that people. Yeah. Didn't like. Rise, Rise had good bad. animation, but that was it. Yeah. Story no, like didn't make any sense, bro. I think you have to go back if you want that treasure chest because there should be a hidden path to get over there. Oh yeah, I I really like that one. Secret great, Passage. Uh, great show, too. Just really bummed that it still does not have a Blu-ray release. Still? still? And it's Nickelodeon as Turtles. Like, you'd think... Some, uh, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Let's go. I mean, the, if they're able to re-release, like, um, Avatar The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra on Blu-ray, I'd say Ninja Turtles should also get that same treatment. Yeah. I think so. Wham, wham. 
Because if they yes, released yes. all five uh, seasons on Blu-ray, I'd buy them in a heartbeat. I mean, that's how I bought... Uh, but basically, yeah. The reason I brought up that 2012, because like, that one and the 2003 one are my favorites. Mm -hmm. 2003 one was dope. I don't care. There's no one better. Turtle, watch out. Because 2003, Turtle. like, expanded a lot. That one, that's why I like, you saw a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, because the 2003 one, it's like, basically, almost a one-on-one -on -one conversion with the original comics. Ah. Nick's, uh, LPS said Nick put more money in Spongebob. Yeah. They even have, like, a spinoff now. Because Spongebob Prince Spongebob is like, is like Nick's family guy slash Simpsons. Like, it just, they just won't let it die. Mm -hmm. They don't, they, they won't let it die. Even after the creator died, they still won't let it die. Let's see what happens against Mushroom Head. are the only ones where their limit breaks uh, attack all, all enemies yeah that's what I, I, I'm like yeah they're the only ones that have like useful normal encounter limit breaks mm -hmm. or as the other ones are good for bosses yeah LPS said also like Cartoon Network for DC shows yeah but still those DC, those, those DC shows don't even last long mm -hmm. like uh, Young Justice here we go. If I kill a Shire real quick, I could use, like I said, one of those limit breaks that only attacks one. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's two good uses. Killing bosses and killing those Shiro things. There you go. Killing those puppy dogs with their pink They're so mates. adorable, but, uh, yeah, you know, you gotta go. When you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Yeah, just don't hold it against us. There's plenty of your kind. Teen Titans is also like their Simpsons slash Family Guy. Well, LP LP said, says, yeah, yeah. And yet, TTG is still Teen going Titans go, yeah. For some reason. Exactly, because that's also like their Sim. Like all I see on, on Cartoon Network in the daytime is Teen Titans go. That's all it's on there. Mm -hmm. And like metal, what was the last Teen Titans Go thing you liked? The night begins to shine, right? Pretty much. Okay, I keep thinking it's serious now. Oh well. Think Kyle, you, good, you know. I think the last good thing from <laughs> Teen Titans was or Teen Titans Go was Teen Titans Go to the movies. Night begins to shine is good too. But that's about it, though. Yeah, but still. It did not need to have that same anima animation as Steven Universe. Yeah, it's because they all go to the same college or something like that. I know there's a lot of shows that Wheels tells me is actually good, but I just can't bring myself to watch it with the same style. Like, mm -hmm. And they even did that for the Powerpuff Girls reboot. Yep. And a lot of people really hated that. Because it was gross. Gross and way too hip. Thank you. I figured it'd be somebody who leveled up after all those fights. I was wrong. Insane helmet, huh? Does it make you go insane? Make you become berserkers. Oh, really? Uh, no. I, I was just uh, being facetious. But they might as well be, right? Uh, apparently Kyle can wear it. Helmet for oh, the unhinged. Uh, I, guess it, I guess it would make sense, since he is a barbarian, after all. Basically, yeah. Basically, Conan. Yes. What am I supposed to go through here, or up here? He's just missing his Schwarzenegger impersonation. Ah, uh, Beedrill! Oh, there you are. Quite the dust storm we have going on here. I know, right? Nasty. Yeah, we're back here where we were before. Please. 
uh, metal. Uh, what was the last thing Teen Titans did that you actually liked? Okay, he's gone again. Metal. OPH says, and the CW wants a live action version of the Powerpuff Girls. God help us all. I've already seen how it looks. Um, because there were some set photos that were leaked. Mm-hmm. Of them in oh, costume. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Does not, does not inspire. Yep. You know, confidence. confidence. <laughs> oh, hey. I guess when Kyle put that new helmet on, it actually uh, gave him uh, 12 uh, hit point uh, replenishment. For really? Every turn. That's cool. That's cool. Treasure ahead. Yeah, we were already here, weren't we? Yeah, we were. I mean, I go back up or either, or either through here, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, this looks new. Bad Gamer says some couple stuff. Yeah, he says, because Teen Titans Go has short episodes, has a shit ton of episodes, fast paced, and and the humor is on the 8 to 10 year olds. Uh, think it's funny. And Bad Gamer says, and since. There, and since there will always be new 8 to 10 year olds that has never seen all the episodes, they can just churn them out. LPA says, just don't mess up Mojo. Starchild says, the last thing Teen Titans did I did that I liked was when it ended, lol. <laughs> of course, the OG cartoon was actually good. Oh yeah, OG cartoon was dope. I, I think we all forgot to mention about the bastardization that was uh, Thundercat's roar. Oh, lordy. When people actually wanted to see more of the early 2010 decade uh, yes. reboot that was basically anime style. Yes, that was great. Yes. Oh, don't paralyze, Alex. Don't be paralyzed. Oh, good. Paris poor. Would you stop with the paralysis of that, sir? Dag on these games, man. Yeah, just, just burn the, them uh, all, Mia. Golly. Just the mushroom saying, Manamana. Look at that. <laughs> Mia just saw about. Mia just saw about most of them. Good, Good. Now, now we just wail on this one. Manamana. Manamana. There you go. Hey, me, me, me as MVP there. And thanks, no. Thanks, no. Mm. Oh, no. Thank you, buddy. Just a little further to Tamar. Hang in there. Yeah, thanks a lot, jerks, because I wanted to get there before the episode ended, not just. Bad Gamer says, looked up the Powerpuff Girls live action leaks. Oh, God, why? Yeah. Yeah, you're almost there to the entrance. To, that'll lead you to Tamor. But uh, once we get to that pathway that'll lead us to Tamor, we have ourselves a cutscene to witness. And we got ourselves a few fights that we have to go through. Oh, okay. Well. But I think that would be a good stopping spot yeah. for uh, this episode. Yay! Yeah. Uh, LPH says, why that show is not on HBO Max? It's a good question. Why is HBO Max so slow bringing everything up, uh, on there? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we finally got Harvey, Bir Harvey Birdman, attorney at law on Netflix. I mean, on, on HBO Max. Like, HBO Max should be having everything I want on it. It still really doesn't. And, and Bag Ever said, what did they do to the girls? Uh, they pulled a Dora the Explorer on them. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea, bro. Hey, Alex leveled up to 32. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Actually. Another sh Shiro's Tale or Shiro's Tale. Hey, you can wail on him if you want. I think Alex is going to one-shot these guys. Ha! 
Look at that. Told you. All right, Jessica and Mia leveled up. And Kyle. Nice. Nash, nobody likes you. That's why you didn't Apparently. so fast. Hey. Actually, you know what? Electro shower. Yeah, it's sad to see what uh, what Cartoon Network or the CW is doing with the uh, Powerpuff Girls movie based on the leaks. But uh, seriously, uh, WB, what is your infatuation with just wanting to only put out Batman? I mean, after the... That's the funny. But <laughs> Alex put... I don't want to say too much here, but I'll just say this. Buttercup. Yeah. Gale staff, okay. Ah, uh, I'd be good for one of the mages. Yeah. Let's see here. Casts fireballs. Oh, he can't even. Oh, only yeah, she so can use that, it. That where that beedrill is, you just go down that path, and then that will lead you to the cutscene with the number of battles that are gonna be coming up. Okay, so Nash can only equip the Gale stick, or no Mia? Only oh. Mia, yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you might as well go ahead and give her that dragon armlet. All right. Yep, here it comes. Dang! She said the only yep. contact at me is when I stomp on your head. Golly. Yep, Zenobia's gonna stop us. Or try to, anyway. Okay. Okay, lady. You want to do this randomly? Fine. Zenobia, you're not attractive. Just leave us alone. I know one of them is... It looks like one of them was glitching. But yeah, you have three battles to... Well, no, two battles you have to undertake. Oh, boy. And then they're going to try to do a third wave, but that's when Alex and his crew will actually get saved. Okay. Gonna have to fight these, so I might go a little over time. Just we gotta fight. Plus, it gives but, us more time to talk, anyways. Yeah. Besides, this is actually a uh, you know this is good good part for us to have like as the the last part of the stream for today. I mean, we didn't go into Might's Tower, but we'll save that for next week. Well, that was. I want to say it was only because of that puzzle and that when like I feel like if if we figured it out sooner, we would have. Yeah, we probably well, might have zero had a little extra okay. time on our hands, but, uh, but, oh well. Yeah. Oh well, at least we're good levels now because of all that walking around. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, they didn't take any damage? Yeah, I don't get what happened there. They're immune to wind? I guess so. <laughs> or that they could be immune to magic. Nope, they're not immune to magic, that's for sure. Yeah, I just didn't want to take any nights, any any hits from him, I guess. Eh, we're not gonna take any hits from you, little kid. Like, okay. <laughs> Star Child says curb stomp. Yeah, that's basically what that lady said she was gonna do to him. Oh, well, Zenobia is now she's talking all hip. It's like how Eric in uh, Dragon Quest Eleven S or Dragon Quest Eleven says, "Another one bites the dust." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm is. like, and I'm like, but Queen doesn't exist in this universe. Where are you hearing this phrase? 
Okay, he's just they're just immune to Alex's crap for some reason. Oh, they're just randomly immune. Okay. They are? Yeah, they didn't take they ran, they didn't take any they're not taking damage from anybody now. Huh. Weird. So are they but, just, but but uh, neither are we. This must be story oh, mode okay, crap. So they're they're weak to magic, looks like. Oh really? I guess so. Oh we'll see. But, but remember with Alex he does have the uh the red dragon ability, uh Dragon's Anger, which can launch fireballs. Yeah, I don't know what's going or on. Or Dragon's Wrath. They're weak to, to, to the physical. Okay, well, that's why we got Mia. Yeah, so I'd say with Alex, uh, go to town with them when it comes to having to use magic if they're, you know, no the physical abilities. Alright, there they go. All right, now All right. Nash can, finally leveled up. You can actually save that ability for the next fight. This is your final hour, Zenobia. Don't bother begging for mercy. Oh, she's talking about stomping again. She just wants to stomp. She just wants to curb stomp. Oh, more of these Magoogles. Let's go, Magoogle. Time for some magic. Yes. Oh. Some dragon magic. And I think that one does a big number of damage when you're using dragon magic. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, look at that. You're, you're. That's cool right there. Oh, did you just see the uh, Dragon's Wrath? That's dope. Dang, he saw about all of them. Almost. Yeah. Like I said, the, uh, that, the Dragon Magic is pretty powerful. It looks like he's going Super Saiyan. Yeah, that. it does. He literally goes, ha, ah, just like Dragon Ball style. Like... Ooh, nice work, Kyle. Oh, good job there. Green wave. Sonic Riser. Windscar! Basically, what it is. Now we're getting all Inuyasha up in this game. Darshaw says it's kind of like the Langris' sword. Well, these ones, I think, are okay to hit. So, oh yeah, they're not. Uh, they're them. not immune to physical attacks. But yeah, like I said, you just only have to fight these guys uh, twice. There you go. And then uh, boom. Then you'll get. Uh, then you'll get saved. Yeah, we'll see. I killed them already. Good. Ah, oh, you schmucks again. We can't keep this up. They just keep coming. One more round at little worry, no, that'll be irrelevant. Oh! You get shot up. What Althina's name is that? Oh, hey! You should realize who they are when you're looking at them. Well, for you, Jerry, as you know, I was referring to. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm trying. I. Oh man, because I, I remember seeing them, but I forgot their names. But I do remember them because I remember, in the PS1 version, and the were they in Legends too? Uh, yeah, they were in Legends. Yeah, yeah, I remember them in Legends. Too. All right, we can save. Yes, that is a. Great stopping spot for this episode, wouldn't you say? Ten, we're just ahead. Oh uh, yeah, let's save it. All right, who went first last time to plug? I think that was me last time. All right, metal. Hopefully you yeah, st go ahead and plug. Time for me to roll. 
Anyways, follow me on Twitter at Visible Ninja Zero, sure I YouTube, saved. Visible Ninja Dojo, and okay. Master with Blue of Eyes. And of course, don't forget to check out HeroClub.com for all your hero news. Okay, uh, you can follow me at youtube.com slash double RPG reviews. That's where I work on my content most of the time. I'm currently working on a review of uh, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars for the Super Nintendo, and I hope to have that out uh, within this week coming up or early the week after. Uh, but if you want to know what I'm up to through social media, then follow me at facebook.com slash double RPG reviews and twitter.com slash double RPG reviews. I do have a page here on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash double RPG reviews. Haven't streamed in quite a while. I hope to get back to that uh, as soon as I can at some point. But if you want to see the archives of my live streams from Twitch onto YouTube, then follow me at youtube.com slash double RPG gamer for solo. All right. You can follow me, Fighter Cows, on Twitch besides here, Tuesdays or Fridays, twitch.tv slash Fighter Cows. That's F I G H T E R X A O S. 4 p.m. Tuesdays and Fridays Eastern. That's 4 p.m. Eastern. Tuesdays is Tekken. Fridays is another game. Social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook is also Fighter Cows. And yeah, I'll join the Discord. It's in our, it's in our about me. It's in my about me as well. And it's in the chat. And it's in the chat. And when that says, is there anything else left to talk about? Uh, no, I don't think so. Just be sure you guys join us next week for when we uh, go to the next town and go into Might's Tower and make our way down south so that way we can go finally meet the final dragon to fully become Dragon Master. So that ought to be fun. Yeah. But other than that, uh, this double RPG is Ninja. I'm Fighter Kaos. And Kaos, you know what to do. You have two words left for us on today's stream, so take it away, my friend. Nimi, Kanyo. Peace out, everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye. Adios.